What's up? This is David Just Love, man. I'm right back at you once again with another one, man. Ha, ah, something make you think. Why would somebody do what they do? But you know what? Once again, I salute to you guys for being over here, you know, watching me, man. Hey, when I win, find this hand once again, it's all. I asked the question, why did him, why did him do that? Or we say, why did he do that? Yeah, him. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Go check it out there. Devastated right now. Family now has to uh, navigate a safe location. Right now. Wait a minute. So these women, this exes and his ex-wife, made you made him up that upset? No, nah, I know it's two sides to a coin. It's two sides to a coin. Why he deal with? Now, now, now. Hey, if he just they just like that, it was just like that. But it's not just one sided. You know what I mean? It's another side to it. Both women were home killings. A man already on the run after the stabbing death of his pregnant girlfriend is now wanted for murdering his ex-wife of state just two weeks later as well. Timothy Taylor vanished after Teresa Gray's twins daughter discovered her body in her bedroom. Then two weeks later, police found Timothy's ex-wife deceased inside her home. Police strongly believe Timothy is connected to both of these murders, and his run ended once he was arrested Friday in Pennsylvania. Was 37 years old and lived in Brooklyn, New York. Teresa was described by friends and family as an amazing, vibrant woman who was full of life. Everybody loved her. She was a real sweet, kind person. She was so friendly with everybody. Everyone loved being around her. Teresa also was two months pregnant and in a relationship with her boyfriend, Timothy Taylor. According to Teresa's twin daughters, Timothy lived with them in Brooklyn. Timothy was previously married but divorced his wife in 2021. Reports didn't go far into detail about the nature of Teresa and Timothy's relationship or how long the two have been together. But unfortunately, the relationship suffered from toxicity. On May 12, 2023, Teresa's twins overheard their mother and Timothy arguing. They said the two had been going at it inside their bedrooms for hours that night. When they woke up the next day, they found their mother's blood-covered body lying face down on the floor between the bedroom door and her bed. The teens immediately called 911 and was instructed to roll their mother over to her back and to begin CPR. The girls desperately tried to save her, as did the emergency medical personnel who arrived shortly after. But unfortunately, Officer Gray was pronounced deceased at the scene by 8.45 a.m. Two details on a mother found dead in her apartment in Williamsburg. Within the past hour, police revealed she was murdered. They say she had puncture wounds on her body, including on her neck. They've identified the woman as 37-year-old Teresa Gregg. Officers say she was already dead in a bedroom when they responded to a 911 call at her home this morning. Police have not said anything about a motive or suspects. According to reports, Teresa suffered stab wounds on both sides of her neck, left arm, and upper body. The most gruesome detail of it all was a bloody screwdriver was found lying beside her body. And after that attack, Timothy went on the run. Timothy went 160 miles away to another town, allegedly headed to find his ex-wife. Tashawn was 44 years old and lived in New York as well. She was described as caring, giving, and supportive. Tashawn was a mother of three beautiful children, and everything she did was for them. Tashawn was previously married to Timothy, and the two had two beautiful children out of the relationship. Unfortunately, their relationship together became abusive. Court documents appear to show a past pattern of alleged abuse with his ex-wife. In October of 2021, Tashawn was granted an order of protection against Timothy Taylor after he was charged with choking her. The victim's brother told me after they divorced, in 2021, his sister got an order of protection against Taylor. Did you, she said that he was being violent to her and hurting her? Yeah, uh, yeah. That's, is that why they separated? Yes, I was so proud of her to make that move. I was very proud of her. After becoming a victim of DB, 
and divorce, Tashan was focused on building a safer and better life for herself and her children. Sadly, although years passed, the two were no longer together and Timothy was in another relationship. It still didn't stop him from returning to his ex-wife. And on May 28, 2023, police found Tashan deceased in her home. The cause of death was just like Teresa's. She was stabbed to death. can be, you know, one can be nasty, both of them can be nasty, you know what I'm saying, he probably was nasty too, but they both were nasty, that's why I say, it's, it's two sides to one, it's two sides to this, man. Advocate Stephanie McGraw is now working with the family, they're concerned Timothy Taylor is still at large and knows where they live. The family now has to and Timothy Taylor is also wanted for questioning by detectives in Brooklyn after his girlfriend was murdered inside her Williamsburg apartment earlier this month. 37-year-old Teresa Gregg. She was a hard-working mom, working for the city, helping the homeless, and being an advocate of the homeless. Gregg's own children dialed 911 Saturday, May 13th after finding their mom unresponsive, bleeding from several puncture wounds, all after fighting the night before with her boyfriend. Timothy Taylor. Well, they should have had him arrested a long time ago. You know, she took another murder to look into this other situation is scary. Sadly, if the victim died at the hands of her ex-husband, she will follow her sister in meeting a tragic end due to the same. Her sibling was shot by her boyfriend in 2001 when she was only weeks away from giving birth. Oh yeah, update. In New York was arrested in Center City. The U.S. Marshals Service saying agents found 35-year-old Timothy Taylor sitting at a bar on the 1100 block of Chestnut Street shortly after 11 this morning. They say they received a tip that he was here in Philadelphia. Taylor accused of killing his pregnant ex-girlfriend in Brooklyn on May 13th and murdering his ex-wife last weekend in Schenectady. Investigators have not speculated on motive in any of these incidents, nor did they lay out the specific, nor did they lay out the charges that Taylor would face. Right now, this is all the details that are given to the public, but more will be shared. Look, all in all, look, I'm gonna do none of this, man. But to knock knock off two of the women, boy, you really hated them, boy, to delete these, these women, boy. The kids gotta suffer, and look, you caught, they say allegedly, you had something to do with it. Sorry about that, but Leslie said you had something to do with it. Let me clamp down. Unless you had something to do with it. So, hey man, man, good luck. Because man, we're talking about two of them? Boy, that's a bad situation to be put in where you have to deal with that. And like I said, it's two sides to the story, but a lot of times they know what side they, they'll take. But if you did with the person did what they did, hey, it is what it is. He said, forget it. I, I, I'd rather go, go down without them being survive, survivors. I, I don't like it. You, no one should like it, but he, he did what he did. And, you know, these, these people have to suffer. People have to suffer behind this, man. You know? And it's unfortunate it has to happen like that. You know what? <laughs> Let me say, look, on that note, hey, like, subscribe, push that notification button, put a comment down there for it, brother, and guess what? Out.